Presenting to you, a journey of a man and a nation together. Barat, trailer Barat, starring Salman Khan and Katrina Kaif, releases this Eid on 5th of June, 2019. That's what we're looking at. Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara Kirk. Hello. T-Series is presenting this brand new trailer of Salman Khan. Barat. What? This is so dramatic. Mm -hmm. The film also stars Tabu, Jackie Shroff, Sunil Grover, Asif Sheikh, Sonali Kulkarni, Disha Patani, and Nora Fatahi. So you guys, hit that bell icon so you don't miss whenever we drop another video that you'll surely want to see. And also if you want to get exclusive content from Jabby and Achara and friends and family of the uh, Jabby and Achara peoples, then uh, go over to patreon.com slash jabbykuwait. That ad keeps changing every time I say it. Also, thank you Rashi Middlecar. You didn't make subtitles this time, but I just wanted to say thank you anyway for you being you. Here we go. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, इकत्तर साल पहले ये देश बना और उसी वक्त शुरू हुई मेरी कहानी लोगों को लगता है कि एक मिडिल क्लास बूढ़े की लाइफ कितनी बोरिंग रही होगी अब उन्हें क्या बताएं जितने सफेद बाल मेरे सर और दाढ़ी में हैं उससे कहीं ज्यादा रंगी मेरी जिंदगी रही है सिल्वर फॉक्स that beer's looking good on him, though. Yeah. Hey. I like all the tunnel things that they're doing. Yeah. It's got that very, like, that depth perception thing going on with the infinity lines. Ooh. That's cool. Ooh, ooh. Damn. Ooh, nice wire work. <laughs> और जिस नौकरी के लिए आप आए हैं उसमें इतनी भारी ज्ञान की जरूरत बिल्कुल नहीं है He's like so dramatic. Yeah. Madam sir. Madam sir. Hello. Life take them perfect. Pyar, dost, family. लेकिन हर मुस्कुराते हुए चेहरे के पीछे एक दर्द छुपा होता है. कुछ रिश्ते खून से होते हैं और कोई जमीन से तेरे पास दोनों हैं। जो वादा अपने बाजू से किया था उसकी सुनी। और शायद वही दर्द आपको जिंदा रखता है। That evil Camille outfit is awesome. So also kind of reminds me of Elvis. Yeah, a little bit. What? Holy. So, oh boy. Oh wow. He's with pirates now. Damn. He's like doing all of Tom Hanks' roles in one movie. I know. <laughs> और लोगों की पहचान उनके परिवार से होती है। तुझ में पूरा देश है भारत। Exciting. I feel like every Salman Khan trailer I've seen in the past few years kind of has this vibe to it of this. Epic journey of a man over the course of several decades. Sultan was the first. Huge one that I'm familiar with that was like brand new when I saw it that covered a span of several years of this man who's trying to redeem himself and you know achieve those medals in the in the wrestling arena thing there and raise a family at the same time right and then uh, what came after that there oh, was light bulb light, not light bulb but tube light or whatever it was yeah. one of them tube light seemed like it was this kind of epic journey as well mm -hmm. but then that was akin to Forrest Gump in a way yeah in terms of the, the journey that that guy goes on and here I was getting a similar vibe but without the shall we say intelligently challenged you mean mentally challenged? <laughs> mentally challenged yeah. you know is well, well there you go look at that <laughs> <laughs> 
He seems like he's smart challenged. You mean mentally challenged, Jabby? Yes, that's what I meant. He doesn't seem like he's mentally challenged here. He's just a regular dude who went on an epic journey yeah. and, with an epic name, Barat. There's this very strong feeling of patriotism again, just from the name. I guess there is that element to the story as well, in addition to this whole thing spanning 70 years or whatever. It's a huge name to live up to, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, can you imagine if Achara's name wasn't Achara, but Thailand. Every time she walks into the room, I would announce her name like the announcer in Street Fighter 2. Thailand. Thailand. That'd be awesome. USSR. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you fight India. India. <laughs> Wherever yeah. you went, if you had to go fight Dalzim, you were in India. Yeah. Japan. No, although there are, I do know people who are called India. They're not Indian. <laughs> Thailand. Bharat. That's such a cool name too. It is a super cool name. It's just really interesting all the different identities that he's had over the years. And that makes sense because in a lifetime, you could be the evil Knievel dude on the bike and then the oil drilling guy and then another person. You just mm -hmm. kind of go through that journey. It, it certainly felt like it was taken straight from Captain Phillips in a way. Like it felt like it was inspired by that. I mean, that kind just of thing. Just that scene there. That went, well, that aspect of his life, who knows how much of the movie that is. I mean, they're just kind of going through all these things. Like when he's like evil Knievel going through the thing yeah. Kind of, well, I mean, that could have been inspired by both Evil Knievel and A Place Beyond the Pines, you know, with Ryan Gosling. It, it, who knows where that was what that was inspired by. Maybe it was neither one. And the writer-director was just like, you know what? I like this thing. I'm going to put it in the movie. It could be that. I like the tube thing for some reason. I don't know if that's like... Yeah, that's like a cool shot. That, something that perspective. Nice the infinity lights, all the tunnel. I don't know if there's some symbolism there that is flying over my head, but it looks cool. I'm in love with that beard. That gray beard on him. He looks so good. Yeah. Like, like made up to look older. I like it. I think he looks really distinguished. I'm not exactly clear about the why quite yet. That's what I'm missing is like, what is it about this guy that was like, why are, why are we following? What What is his story exactly about? So it's like, okay, so he's led an interesting life. Is that, is this based on a true story? Is this person completely fictional? Is right. it supposed to be a tale of inspiration to motivate you to get off your butt and go out there and ride that motorcycle into the cage with the other two people who are risking their lives just for a few bucks? Or is it to just let you know that your life isn't just one section that this too shall pass and then you'll have other decades of other chapters in your life that will right. be completely different from what you're experiencing now. So don't try not to be so myopic and see into the future. Just know that this too shall pass and you'll have more than this. You yeah. know, you'll have your other chapters where you've got kids who don't like you because they don't understand or appreciate the technology yeah. that's in front of them. You know, there's all kinds of aspects to uh, one's life. It is fascinating to see the different chapters of people's lives. And so whether it's fictional or not, it's it's cool, like, to see this the journey that this guy goes on. And I'm, I'm sure there's an inspirational element to there because that's often what Salman Khan films embody every time I see a film of his. One that I watched that wasn't a epic journey was with Katrina Kaif. Yeah. Zindagi, not Zindagi, what am I saying? Uh, Tiger Zindahai. The whole idea is you don't really know someone just from looking at them, right? When he's telling the story, he's that older gentleman, and when you look at him, he just seems like a regular middle-class guy, but actually he's lived this very full life. Well, according to the movie, he looks like a middle-class guy. To me, he looks like a badass dude that has had some years of experience in interesting things, like you know, riding around on a motorcycle in a cage with other people, like stunt stuff, and oh, just by looking at him, just by looking at him, you, he's, you he looks like that. he looks like he was Captain Phillips at one point. You know, mm -hmm. I just no, I, not at all. He does look like a well, he looks like a distinguished regular dude. Yeah. But I mean, that's the thing, you just don't know. And that's what I love about talking to older people as well, is you find out so much interesting stuff about them that just by looking at them, you might not be able to tell. And I enjoyed that aspect of the story as well, where he has to go to work in the oil fields. That's something that a lot of people do, actually. Like, as far as I'm aware, I've always heard of, you know, people, whether they're Thai or Indian or whatever, going to work, say, for example, in the UAE to work in the oil fields or doing whatever other jobs. And I feel like a lot of the time, their stories aren't really told. I think that's an interesting aspect of it. So Jackie Shroff is in this movie. I mm -hmm. don't feel like he was super prominent in the trailer. At least I wasn't like focused in on him. I was no. obviously more focused on Salman Khan. Yeah. But I decided to look at his IMDb just for kicks and giggles. 
and dude has 252 acting credits to his name. Damn. 15 of which are in production right now. Holy. <laughs> well, there's announced and pre-production and like five of which are filming because this guy is on like eight different sets at the same time. <laughs> Just like, boom, 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 boom. Just it's infinite busy. energy, you know? Busy, busy. Much like Barat's character. Just constantly moving. It doesn't stop. That's how Clint Eastwood does it. That's why he's still kicking strong. Yep. That's how you keep the noggin strong, is you just keep moving. I don't know why I mentioned that. No, I don't know why. It's relevant. I like Katrina Kaif's look in this movie. It's different from what we've seen her as before. I love that moment in the where she tells him like this isn't the place to yeah. you know submit your uh, political situation. Yeah. Because there have been a number of films where you 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 see this uh, particularly in Asian cinema where you see the person who's like hey, I'm this is what I am doing and this is what's important. This is my journey in life and you better recognize like Colonel Sanders walking in and offering his chicken recipe. If y'all been with the channel a long time, you know where that you comes know. from. Yeah. So she responds and goes, this isn't where you do that. Yeah. And she completely undercuts the tension in the scene, the drama. Totally not impressed. Yeah, exactly. No, I like that. It's making fun of the trope where you generally see that scene is why I like it so much. You usually see that and it's meaningful and there's an epic song to underscore it and, and yeah. help facilitate the, the feeling behind it. And she goes, yeah, no, <laughs> that's next door. <laughs> Room not B, interested. down the hallway, yeah. there's an old lady behind the desk. Make sure you slip her a couple of rupees and then she'll take your, uh, Perfect. She's just like, are you applying or what? Like, I just asked your name. I didn't need an essay. But he gets her in the end, though. Well, does he? They might just be friends. They got married. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's like a whole scene with a wedding well, dress. Well, we'll just cut that part out. I somehow <laughs> flew over my head. Oh, yeah, they have kids together, don't they? I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool that uh, this guy's led all kinds of, uh, had all kinds of careers in his life. Um, yeah. I'm very curious about the... Uh, How is it supposed to all come together? That's my question. Like yeah. you said, what's the point? But I guess it's you just, have to watch the movie well, the to point, find that out. The point is the journey, I guess. Like Forrest Gump. That's what I was going back to. It's Forrest Gump without the mentally challenged aspect. It's just a journey of his life and everything he experienced. And kind of like Into the Wild, where it's about this one guy's experiences and all the people whose lives he touched along mm -hmm. the way. And so when you look at him on the surface, you're like, well, he's just a dude, whatever. But then you talk to all the people he's interacted with and you find out that if this character were to have a funeral at a church, the the line would be out the door. Right. Because there are just so many people whose lives he inspired. That's pulled from a story about my great grandfather. Anyway, wow. I enjoyed this and I'm looking forward to it. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you get notifications whenever we drop a new video. Check out our Patreon if you want to see exclusive content. Also, Achara Kirk and Jabby Kway. We're on Instagram and Twitter, hanging out there, posting fun photos, fun videos, and fun tweets. Things that are uh, worth your attention. Also, check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, interviews. I am Jabby Kway. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.